Hey, this is Chatlin with your FTW moment. Today I want to talk about how to help your kids be helpful. Now, if you feel like you have a problem with kids, your kids who are not being helpful, I want you to consider a couple things. And now, it's not that I've uh, gone to school and learned psychological theory about this. This is just mainly due to observation and perhaps you know experience, just in general managing and observing other people. And I would say that if your kids are not helpful, well, first of all, you need to encourage them to, to be willing to try to help and help. I think kids have a natural inclination to want to help. But if you want, but if there's, you, can, you as a parent could create two roadblocks in particular that could build up a resistance in the future for your kids being helpful. One is they have to do it perfectly. Now, kids are not designed to do things perfectly. They're, they have a, it, so you have to be careful not to overload them with the burden of the minute details. You know, in time, as they are doing things on their own, you can gradually, in, you know, improve their detail awareness. But the detail awareness is not something that a young kid is. Uh, going to have a high aptitude for. Um, they're going to be wanting to help. They want to help mommy and daddy, right? At least most kids. Another thing is, you know, this could be uh, harder to, uh, to, to assess as a parent, but you want to give your kids an opportunity to withstand a few bumps and bruises. Now, obviously, there's some clearly dangerous things, and there's some gray areas, but obviously, if your kid climbs to the top of a six-foot ladder, you know, that's a highly dangerous situation, especially if they're a baby and they fall off, they're going to crack their head. But, no, there's probably a lot of daily situations where they might get mildly hurt, and, and they're not the worst for it. But what they learn from that is that they're, they, they, they're willing to try things and then understand that they have certain limitations, but they do that on their own. And they have a little bit more uh, self-assurance that they themselves can do things and then find out what their limitations are. And so two things, let them, let them explore, but not to the point where, of course, they're gonna break their head open. And the other one is don't expect them to do things perfectly, that way they will to make use of that can-do attitude that I think a lot of kids are uh, equipped with. And, and it's by human influence, <laughs> by parents, that causes them to withdraw from that attitude. So encourage their attitude of being helpful. Don't expect them to do things perfectly. And let them bump, bump into things once in a while, play in the dirt, get a little dirty. Don't be afraid to be dirty. Uh, know how to clean up, but don't be afraid to get dirty. <clears throat> and. Don't expect them to do things perfectly. So this is a challenge with your FTW moment, hoping your kids become more helpful in the future. And I'll see you on the next video.